phosphoric acid and barium hydroxide. So phosphoric acid, again, we're going to need to maybe go back to a previous slide if you don't remember. Phosphoric acid, H3PO4, aqueous, with barium hydroxide, BaOH2. And we're going to form H2O, liquid, plus a salt, which is going to be barium phosphate. Okay, some little tricky things here. Barium is in group two, so it is a plus two. The phosphate group, um, we just have to, one of these ones we have to try and remember, it's a three minus. There's a little clue here in the fact that the formula is H3PO4, but it's one of those things that we need to sort of have a little table next to our um, work, uh, maybe on our desk that you can refer to until these uh, become a little more set in your mind. Now, of course, this equation is not balanced, so I'm going to have to balance it up first of all. So I've got three BS, so I'm going to put three in front of here. Uh, I've got two PO4, so I'm going to put two in front of here. Then I've got six and six, so I'm going to actually need um, six water molecules, and so now I should be all right. But let's quickly just have a look at the net ionic equation. So if I go here, I've got six H pluses. When I pull this apart, I've got two PO4, three minuses. I've got three BA two pluses, and I've got three two six OH minuses. Then I've got six H two Os. I've got three BA two plus, and unfortunately I'm gonna to have to squeeze it down here two PO four three minus. That's not great. But again, when I do my um, elimination on the basis of spectator ions two and two three and three you see what I get is the same thing that I had before of course now six H plus six O H minus gives me six H two O liquid um, and of course um, I could simplify this down to H plus plus O H minus gives H two O one of the key things that we need to look at with these Neutralization reactions is that net ionic equation just comes down to the hydrogen ions plus the hydroxide ions producing water. Thanks for watching.